Okay, so in this video, we're going to do uh, several things. Uh, the first thing is we're going to create uh, three prompts, and then we're going to go into the query builder under the uh, filter data uh, tab, and then apply these prompts. And then after that, we're going <clears> to <throat> use some of the variables to uh, uh, create a frequency table, as well as uh, to get some uh, summary statistics. Um, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, create the uh, prompts. We're going to do three prompts. <clears throat> uh, so first thing we're going to do is go into the prompt manager. And this is the data set we're using. It's a, a customer information uh, data set. Uh, so we go into the pr uh, prompt manager. We click add. Okay, and this allows us to add a new prompt. So first thing we're going to do is create a variable prompt. And we'll just call this variable prompt. And we'll do the same thing for display text. And we'll keep it pretty general um, since we're going to use it for both the later on for the frequency table and the summary statistics. So we'll just call it, or we'll just say, uh, choose variable. Okay, then we go to prompt type and values. And this is going to be a variable uh, prompt. <clears throat> so we have to manually bring in the uh, values we want. So we're going to be using uh, categorical, ver categorical uh, variables. And so uh, for this, we're just going to use uh, three of the easier ones to use. Uh, so if you didn't catch what I did, uh, I went to uh, make sure character is selected. And then we go to load values. And then we just find our uh, data set we're working with. You can see down here, it's the customer's data set. We click open. So it brings in all of our variables. <clears throat> so for this, we're going to choose uh, customer gender. So we'll just get rid of the ones that we don't want. We're going to use customer gender, uh, customer country. So we'll get rid of uh, customer's name. We'll just delete those. And then we'll keep the customer age group. And then we'll get rid of customer type and customer group. And so these are the ones we want. So we go ahead and click OK. And you can see over here our variable prompt is created. <clears throat> so next we're going to create a prompt that's going to allow us to, uh, to, uh, uh, to find the ages within a certain range. Uh, so we go back to the uh, to the prompt manager and click add, and we'll just call this one age. And for the description, we'll just do select select range for age. <clears throat> so in our prompt type and values, it's going to be a it's going to be a numeric, not just numeric, but a numeric range. And we'll just click OK. And our prompt or uh, age uh, variable or age uh, prompt has been created <clears throat> and we're going to create one more prompt and this one is going to have to do with the uh, customer group and it's going to allow us to choose uh, which customer group uh, we want from a list <clears throat> so the customer groups are okay so these are the customer groups uh, right over here uh, let's see Okay, so these are the uh, the group names, and you can see there's not too not too many of them really. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and create the prompt. So we go to the prompt manager, click add, and we'll just name this the uh, customer uh, group. And do the same for the display text. Let's we'll keep it simple for the description. Select customer group. Okay, so we go to the prompt type, and it's going to be a text. And for the method for populating prompt, we're going to do the uh, user selects values from a static list. And because we have multiple values, then we'll allow the person to select multiple values. Okay, so here we want to include an, uh, all possible values under the include special values. So we make sure this is clicked. <clears throat> then now we got to manually bring the the uh, groups that we want in. So we go to get values. So first thing is our data source up here. We're going to have to browse for the actual file that we're trying to pull from. Uh, so in this case, we're using the customer's data set. So we just select this, click open. OK, and then the first column up here, the unformatted unformat values, we look for the column that we're working with, the variable, uh, which is going to be customer group. And we select it. We come down here to the uh, formatted displayed values, and we do the same thing, uh, customer group. And then we click Get Values under the Available val uh, Values. And here's our 
There's our main value. So we just we can just use a little double arrows down here to move them all over. Okay, so we're ready to go. <clears throat> and here we go. So when the user runs the prompt, they'll be able to select from these uh, these different uh, groups. And we click OK. Okay, great. So now we have all of our prompts. So now we're going to actually apply these. So to apply these, we go to the Query Builder. We're going to move all of our variables over. <clears throat> and to apply them, we go to the Filter Data tab. And right here, we click this to create a new filter. Okay, so we're going <clears> to <throat> do the, uh, the uh, age first. So we go to Customer Age. Next. And this is in a range, since we're doing a numeric range of values. So we click in a range. And then we select our prompt. For this case, it's the age prompt. Click next. And then finish. And so we also have to apply the uh, customer group prompt. So we go back, create a new filter, basic filter. And we go to the customer group. Click next. And this is in a list. Okay. And then we find the prompt. Customer group prompt. Click next. Finish. <clears throat> and one last thing, we'll actually also uh, sort the data um, by the customer's age. So we just go to the sort data tab. And then click this little icon right here to, to add an existing column. So we want to do the customer's age. Click OK. And we'll do it in ascending order. And then we go ahead and run this. <clears throat> actually, what we could have done is not run it, but just uh, actually saved it. So let's do that. Go back real quick. Query Builder. Filter data. Basic filter. Customer age in a range. Finish. In a list. Okay, make sure sort up. Oh, that's gone too. We'll sort by age again, ascending. So instead of doing run, we'll do save and close. <clears throat> okay, great. Uh, let me get rid of this so the query builder. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> and so the last thing we're gonna do now is create a frequency table using the, uh, the uh, variables from the variable prompt and uh, summary stats. Uh, for age by the variable prompt. So first thing we do is create a, a frequency table. So we're going to describe a one-way frequency. Okay, and then our analysis variable will actually just be the variable prompt. So when you run the analysis, <clears throat> it'll actually come up and ask you uh, specifically which uh, categorical, var categorical variable you want to choose, the customer gender, customer country, or customer age group. Uh, so we'll just save this. Okay, and then we also wanted to do summary statistics. So we go back to describe, and then summary statistics. And we want to do summary statistics on customer age by the variable prompt. So we group analysis by whatever um, variable we choose from the variable prompt. And then we save this. Okay, and to see if it all works, we go to the process flow and click run. Okay, and all of our prompts come up. So let's do, uh, first thing we're gonna to select the age, so we'll do from 25 to 45. <clears throat> then uh, let's see, customer group. Mm, let's do the Orion uh, Club Gold Members. And then we choose one of the variables that will be used for our frequency table and our summary statistics. So we'll do customer gender. Okay. There we go. First, we'll look at the uh, one-way frequencies. 
Okay, so it uh, <clears throat> gave us everything by our the customer gender. How often they how often they occur, the frequency, the percentage. Now we look at our summary statistics, which we ran uh, the customers age sorted by the customer's gender as you can see they're broken up from female and male and then here's our query builder that's been adjusted to the to our prompts so you see the the customer's age range from 25 years of age to 45 and it's all in ascending order <clears throat> and so there's just uh, some simple ways that you can uh, build prompts apply them in the query builder and then also use the variable prompt to kind of adjust your analysis based off of the certain uh, categories or or uh, groupings of variables that you're using.